If I don't finish drawing Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics in time, I'll draw Freddy with cat ears. How's that? Listen, I know I could say I'll play FNAF, but I'm scared of everything and won't even try playing the game after what happened, okay? Three, two, one, go! Change the brush size. I thought I had more time. Three, two, one, go! It's a lot tougher when there's a timer. Maybe this is the best I can do? I don't have enough time to add color. There was a time when I actually tried to play Five Nights at Freddy's with my friends on a bus. It went absolutely great. It was the first game and we were both cowards, except I was the biggest one and she had to hold the device the whole entire time while I was just trying to merge with the window and out of it and possibly just run away. I was probably the one not handling the situation very well. My friend was probably not trying to run out of a bus. Ah, right. I was also the genius who suggested we play it. Very smart, as you can see. This may come across as a surprise to you, but we actually passed the first night. Across from us sat a 9 year old kid. He was quite interested in the game and was looking at two fools hitting high notes like Ariana Grande because of the freaking game menu, not even the main game itself. We weren't even playing yet. Suddenly, we heard words from the savior sent from the heavenly creatures above. Can I play with you? Yeah, you can play. Not with me though, I'm mentally rooting for you. I'm kinda eyeing the window hammer you know? Planning my escape from a video game character sounds like an absolute emergency to me. He went and finished the whole entire night. I can see a bright future ahead of him. We'll beat Freddy and the evil cupcake in no time. I got home, got scared of Freddy coming out and into my room like the ring style, so I just deleted the game. Well, well done, genius. You ruined the child's bright future. I'm so scared of actually playing it, but I'm alright with watching others do it. I, I like watching people suffer. I wonder what that says about me. Man, I do have quite a few dumb stories to do with FNAF. <laughs> the proportions are probably all wrong and everything's probably a little wonky. Bonnie has always probably been my favorite character. 